Let's start with a word of prayer. Dear Father in Heaven, as we study about part two of the washing of hands and feet, I pray that you will give us understanding uh, through the Holy Spirit. I pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, welcome to the second part of the labor, washing of hands and feet. As um, I have spoken about the last lesson, I will continue through the parable in Luke chapter 15 verse 22. So let's go to this Bible verse, Luke 15 verse 22. It says, But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. So we can see through this parable that the robe is already covered in the altar of burnt sacrifice. It was the, whose robe? It was the robe of Christ's righteousness. So once you have passed the altar of burnt sacrifice, now you are in the labor, this area. So you have already been covered by the robe of righteousness. That's what we call justification. All right, we are justified by the righteousness of Christ. You cannot earn it. It is through the gift of Christ, justification. But he doesn't just leave it there. He puts what? A ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. So spiritually speaking, what does a ring and a shoe represent? I'm going to cover these two things today. What does a ring and a shoe represent in the Bible? Let's go to ring first. In Esther chapter 8, verse 8. Let's turn there. Esther chapter 8, verse 8. Write ye also for the Jews, as it liketh you, in the king's name, and seal it with the king's ring. For the writing which is the written in the king's name, and sealed with the king's ring, may no man reverse. So we can see that the purpose of the ring is to, is to seal, right? And in olden days, uh, there's a seal on the scroll, and the king stamps it with his ring. So in the Bible, it represents seal but sealing what we need to seal something all right and uh, we can see that in isaiah chapter 8 verse 16 the bible says bind up the testimony seal the law among my disciples so god is asking what to seal his law among his disciples you and i today as long as we profess to be a christian and we want to be a christian god his intention is to seal his law into our hearts and our minds today. So the ring equals seal. And what seal? It is the seal of God's law. In Psalms chapter 119 verse 11, the Bible says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Let's hide his words in our heart. And one of the best ways to do it is to memorize the Bible verse. Let me ask you when you face a situation and sometimes you realize that there's a Bible verse that pops up in your mind. Do you think that it comes up supernaturally? Maybe it could be. But most of the time it's because that you have taken the effort to remember that Bible verse. Maybe not in the perfect uh, memorization um, um, word by word. But you have taken the effort to uh, remember and keep it into your mind. That's why the Word of God can pop up in your, our mind today when we need it and the Holy Spirit can use it because we have put our own effort in it, into it. Now, uh, let's go to the shoes. All right. So we have seen that the ring represents sealing of God's Word in our hearts and uh, minds today. And the shoes, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15. And your feet short with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And let's continue. Romans chapter 10 verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. We already know that the shoe represents the gospel of peace through these two Bible verses. How beautiful are the feet that brings the gospel of peace. Are we walking around in our lives today, bringing the gospel of peace into people's lives? 
or are we actually bringing calamity? Are we bringing sin around? You see, and uh, we also know that the gospel of peace is also associated with the shoe. And uh, we can see that in uh, Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, thy God reigneth. So what is it all about? It is the gospel of peace, the gospel of salvation. The gospel of salvation. It sounds familiar. Remember, we, we learn about it in Romans chapter 1, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So when we are talking about the shoes, what is God actually starting to do? We already see that the word of God is cleansing our hearts and our minds, sealing it into our minds. And, um, you know, you know, okay, you know, out of burnt sacrifice, cleansing of sin, our condemnation and guilt taken away, now God has to start the process of cleansing our mind. And He's doing that by placing the word of God into our hearts and minds. He's giving us the power of salvation, which comes through the word of God, the gospel. And uh, lastly, in Psalms chapter 119, verse 133, Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. So, I pray that we will put on this ring, this ring which represents the sealing of God's law in our hearts and minds today. And um, second one is, of course, the gospel, the gospel of salvation that is through the Bible. This whole label is just talking about this same thing, the word of God washing us with our hands and our feet. And let's have this shoe and this ring in our lives that represents the sealing of the word of God and represents the gospel of salvation. We need those two things in our lives today. So as we end the study of the labor, maybe continue on to walk closely with God. And like what I said, do not only allow the word of God to be just hate knowledge, but also something that we can apply and be transformational to our character today. Let's pray. Father in heaven, as we have learned about this second part of uh, the washing of hands and feet, I pray, O oh Lord, that you will allow um, the sealing of the word of God into our minds today. I pray that you will do our part, whether it's memorization of the word of God, whether it's praying, whether it's reading the Bible every single day. There are many ways. But Lord, when we read your word of life, we seal it in our hearts and minds today. And of course, the shoes allow the gospel of salvation to direct our steps today not any other gospel not any other news in the world or any trends in the world to direct our path today but it is the gospel of salvation thank you father i pray all this in the name of jesus christ amen